Hi, I want to tell you about the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem is named after Pythagoras, who lived around 580 to 500 BCE. He was an ancient Greek, Greek mathematician. The Pythagorean Theorem says that if I have a right triangle with sides of lengths a, b, and c, this angle here has to be a 90 degree angle, right angle, then a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. It's important that c is the length of the side across from the right angle. Here's the right angle of c. All right, how do we know that this is actually true? Let's prove the statement. I'll show you one proof, although there are actually hundreds of different proofs. In fact, one of our presidents, James A. Garfield, uh, is credited with coming up with a very interesting proof that involves drawing no squares at all. Okay, I'm going to start by drawing a second triangle, and I'm going to try and make it the same triangle, the same shape, as the first one, and it turns out that because this angle here and this angle here add up to 90 degrees, when I draw them on a straight line, the angle between them is a 90 degree angle. So this right here is a 90 degree angle. That means I can continue to draw shapes similar to my original triangle And the end result is a square inside the four triangles that I just drew. And because each of these triangles is the same as the original, they have side lengths A, B, and C. So the area of this square is going to be C squared. Okay, now I'm going to draw a second square, the same size as the one I just drew. But this time I'm going to decompose it in a different way. I'll start by drawing the same triangle that I started with over here. But now I'm going to draw another triangle right across from the C edge of this triangle. So I have a rectangle with sides A and B. Now remember that this whole side here has length A plus B, so that this right here is another square, and the area of this square is A squared. Likewise, this large section here is also a square, and the area here is b squared. This rectangle here, if I draw a diagonal here, well, this side length is a, this side length is, I mean, this is b and this is a, so this side length is c, and actually these two triangles are the same as these two triangles here. Okay, let me summarize what I've just drawn. On the left, we see that I have four copies of the same triangle and one large square with area C squared. And on the right hand side, it's the same large square, so the area is the same. And I also have the same four triangles with sides A, B, and C, and they're all right triangles. But instead of a C squared square, I have A squared plus B squared. So this equation here is sort of a, a summary of the area decomposed out of both of these large squares, which have the same area, so it's equal. And since the four triangles clearly have the same area, they're the same shapes, then I can cancel them. And what I have on the left is the quantity c squared on the right, a squared plus b squared, and they're equal to each other. And uh, this basically proves the theorem. Good job.